scheduled. If you're still interested to sign up, go to Miss Lau. And uh, that concludes the news for this week. Uh, here's Daniel's sports. Why, hello there. Did you know LCPA sends brand new athletic clothes? If I were you, I'd honestly choose the LCPA athletics hoodie. You know, it looks pretty comfortable, and you know, it's getting cold, and I'd wear it. I don't know about you, but I'd wear it. If you don't, then, I don't know, you're going to be cold. Or this Nike shirt, that's like, really, it looks really nice, you know? And it's Nike, good brand, people like that, yeah. Anyways, the boys and girls at Varsity Cross Country have a meet Saturday in Belmont. And soccer. Girls soccer is now having conditioning Monday through Thursday at 4 p.m. in the back of LCPA. And boys and girls have basketball conditioning Monday through Thursday at from 4 to 6. That's it for sports this week. Now off to Bryant with what's for lunch. Thank you, Daniel, for that introduction. Anyway, today, hump day! We're gonna have elbow with turkey meat sauce, chicken burrito, breaded chicken on a bun, classic veggie pasta salad, and taco wrap. For Thursday, we're gonna have sloppy joe on a bun, cheese enchiladas, pineapple teriyaki chicken rice bowl, Italian market salad, crispy chicken wrap, and tuna sandwich. And finally, for Friday, we're gonna have pepperoni pizza, cheese pizza, hot dog with chili, Asian chicken wrap, and turkey and cheddar on a roll. Hey guys, it's Kat. So we didn't have school on Monday and Tuesday, so we're starting with Wednesday. Wednesday is going to be 70 with p.m. showers, Thursday 72, and Friday 69. Well, when my friends first found out about it, I guess they kind of laughed at me because they thought about it. I mean, look at you, you can't play lacrosse. You're Mexican, you know? For us, it was a, a, bit, uh, uh, a bit funny to think that our students would be interested in such a sport. We are getting kids to do what is not expected of them. We are breaking stereotypes. My parents are from Mexico, Sinaloa, Culiacán. Les dije, um, todo interesado en jugando en, en lacrosse. Y me miraron con la, con la cara de, como, de, que, de que estoy hablando, de, 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 que habla, de que habla este. Uh, well, at first they were kind of scared. They were like, oh, it seems like a, like a two-rush sport for you. And I just convinced them. I kept insisting and telling them that, you know what, this, this sport, uh, I really like it, you know. It was the only thing I've ever tried, like anything, any, like, at first I would try, but I would go halfway. But with this sport, I, I kept going 100%. The message of this team is that their academics is, is tied intrinsically with this sport. They can't be separated, right? They know how much this school has to invest to make it happen. Junior year, I'd like the bare minimum, I'll be honest. I had like a 2.0. But then I started thinking about like the chance of playing for a high-level college for lacrosse. And that's what motivated me this year, especially, I mean, this year, my lowest GPA was probably like a 3.3. .3. In my freshman year, I was a C student, and every time when I first started playing this game, I, I turned into a straight B student. And this year, I try to maintain my grades higher, and so far the whole year, I have managed to maintain all A's. Like, it's the only thing that's kept me off the streets, the only thing that kept me going through school. At first, I wasn't really interested, I thought it was like, it's just another sport. Like, I don't really like sports. I came out, gave it a try, and I fell in love. The feeling of getting that bag with your chest pads, your, your helmet, your elbow pads, your whole gear, was just a feeling of like, accomplishment. Because you worked for it, not only did you work for it, but you showed and you, you let your coaches know that that's what, that's what you wanted to do, and you put some work into it to receive what, what they were giving. My first game, as soon as I got on the field, my legs started shaking and it's tough, but because I see like every time I'm right there, I'm, I'm a skinny guy versus like football players, big, huge. 
like six foot big, like the size don't matter. It's just you just gotta go out there, push yourself, just play stick, play goal, play how you play. I feel good when I have the ball. My first goal was actually my senior year, my second year playing. It just happened. I mean, I had the ball. I believe I did like a face, and I just drove to my right. And then once I took two steps, I shot it and it went in. Like I was in shock. I didn't know how to celebrate or anything. I just stood there and was like looking around. But it was great, man. I'll be honest with you. It just felt amazing. Every time we would win a game, just the exciting look on everyone's face when we would run to the goalie, the fact that we all worked as a team to win, it's just beautiful to me. I mean, it's awesome to hear some of the stories where some of the kids are actually playing lacrosse, college ball lacrosse. Um, at UC Santa Cruz, UC Davis. Um, so it's obvious, obviously brought a big deal of pride to our school and academic success. Um, and it's become um, one of the, the most successful athletics program we have so far. And we want to grow this game. And I think, I think the cross community wants us to grow this game in this kind of a place. Because this is urban as it gets. Code Blues. We had a high-speed chase down that street. Had to evacuate the game, get everyone to lock the, the classrooms, right? We had a, a helicopter come around because there, there was a shooting down the street in East Side San Jose. When that game is here, I think those things get pushed out. All of a sudden, those things don't belong. All of a sudden, you know, I think those things happen less because the kids are, are doing something that's so amazing that they don't have time. And it's a small drop in the ocean, but at least did it something. My name is Humberto Pulido Colima. I'm a senior here at Latino College Prep, and I've been playing for two years. Yo me llamo Gerardo Álvarez, y este es mi 12 grado en high school. I jugado lacrosse for tres años. My name is uh, Alvin Antonio Arona. I am a junior in LCPA, and I've been playing for three years now. My name is Jose Villalobos, and um, I'm a senior here at LCPA and uh, I've been playing lacrosse for two years now. Well, my name is uh, Marco Valencia, and I'm a freshman, and this is my first year playing lacrosse. Hey guys, so Spirit Week was two weeks ago, and let's just say it didn't go according to plan. I mean, the freshmen actually won games. Dude, they dominated, and sadly, sophomores won the Spirit Week challenges. I guess it just wasn't the week for the upperclassmen. Well, let's start off by congratulating the class of 2017 for winning Spirit Week this year. And don't get bummed out, guys. Throughout the year, there's going to be more ch more chances for you guys to get some points. So look out for those. Okay guys, so we kind of have a good news, bad news kind of deal with us. The good news is that a lot of people participated during Spirit Week. The bad news is that everybody took advantage of it. I mean, we get it, you're trying to have fun, but the fact that you would kind of destroy our campus in the process isn't good for us. I mean, you guys made a mess purposefully with Cheerios and Goldfish and all this other crap from the vending machines smashed on the floor. If this is the way it's going to be, then maybe we won't have the vending machines anymore. But for those of you who did participate in an awesome way, congratulations because you guys might be the reason why we get our next Spirit Week. Who knows? So yeah guys, just remember, this isn't just your campus, it's everybody else's. I mean, personally, it's my home away from home, and I don't like to see a mess around here. But you guys aren't going to do anything about it, obviously, you're the ones making the mess. Um, other than that, you guys are doing awesome. Keep up the good work, and remember, you have a shorter grading period this time around. So turn in what you need to turn in before the last week, because teachers get tired of that too. Have a good week, guys. Talk to you later. I'm Sergio. And I'm Yere. And for um, all of us here, have a great day at LCPA! LCP. Hey. Hey.